Hello YouTube. We are a little off center, but that's just how it's going to be today. Uh, <laughs> my name is Tyler and this is my April reading wrap up. If you are new to my channel, I vlog weekly um, and I talk about all the books that I read in that week more in depth in those vlogs. That's where I give my ratings and my reviews. So if there's something I mention on my list of books I've read this month that you're interested in, uh, there will be vlogs for you to check out. Um, and in the description bar, I'll put the week that I read it um, in so you can more easily find that vlog. Um, however, I will say there's two uh, weeks of April that have not been posted yet. <laughs> so uh, the back half of this list, I have not talked about publicly yet. Um, I just finished recording my final April vlog uh, and I finished editing week three a couple days ago. Um, so those vlogs will be coming. <laughs> so it's a little bit weird, the schedule, uh, just because of how the days fall um, and where the first of the month is. So anyways, let's get to the books that I read this month. I read 15 books this month. So the books I read this month were uh, the Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang, The Burning God by R.F. Kuang, and The Drowning Faith by R.F. Kuang. Uh, that's books two, three, and then the short story collection. I uh, gave all of them four stars. I read Wherever You Go, There You Are, Mindfulness, Meditation, and Everyday Life by John Kabat-Zinn, three stars. Slonum Woods Nine, a memoir by, I didn't write the name down of the author, um, Daniel Levin? Levine? Something like that. Sorry. Uh, the writer of Slonum Woods Nine. <laughs> um, I gave that three stars. Uh, Cat Burglar Black by Richard Salah, three stars. Women Talking by Miriam Taves, two stars. The One Minute Cleaner, Plain and Simple, 500 Tips for Cleaning Smarter, Not Harder by Donna Smolin Cooper. I gave that three stars. A Lots Away by Darcy Little Badger, four stars. On a Sunbeam, Tilly Walden, four stars. The Rise and Fall of the Neoliberal Order, America and the World in the Free Market Era by Gary Gerstel, uh, three stars. The Seat by Hannah Porter, four stars. Nature Poem by Tommy Pico, four stars. On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong, four stars. And Catch and Kill, Lies, Spies, and a Conspiracy to Protect Predators by Ronan Farrow, five stars. So as you can see, a lot of highly rated books this month. So let's get to the stats and figures. So like I said, I read 15 books this month. Of those 15 books I read, nine came from the library. Um, so I actually read a lot of stuff I owned. Um, I did end up buying the uh, Poppy War series this month. So I ended up finishing the Poppy War series um, physically with my own books. I listened to four audiobooks this month, which is about my average, uh, one a week. Um, the books I listened to were Wherever You Go, There You Are. Uh, it was a book about meditation. Um, let's see. The Rise and Fall of the Neoliberal Order, uh, Nature Poem by Tommy Pico, and Catch and Kill. Those were all the audiobooks I listened to this month. I DNF'd one book this month. It was The Impossible Community. It was a book about um, communitarian anarchism. Um, I It was dense. It was hard. It was dry. I just like could not keep reading it. I, it, it, I think I read it for two months and I got to like not even <laughs> the halfway point. Uh, I had to let it go. So let's talk about my TBR stats real quick. I read 10 books off my Goodreads TBR, which put me, let's see, last month I was at 114 books on my Goodreads TBR. This month I am at 116. Um, I will talk about the books that got added momentarily. Maxwell. And then for the physical TBR books, uh, I wrote down three, but it was actually four. I, I remember I had been tracking my physical TBR books if I DNF them here too. So technically I read four books off my TBR, uh, my physical TBR. And those books were uh, The Impossible Community I owned and DNF'd, 
um, Slonem Woods 9, I own that and read it. Uh, On a Sunbeam was something I bought this month. Uh, it was a giant graphic novel um, that I read this month also. And uh, I think book four was The Burning God because I bought it this month. And um, I ended up writing it down just because I wasn't actually sure if I was getting finish the series this month or not. Um, so yeah, I tracked it as a physical TBR book. So that leaves my t physical TBR at, so last month my physical TBR was at 15 books. This month it is at 16 um, because I bought some ebooks, which I don't put all of my ebooks on my physical TBR because technically they're not physical. Um, but these are ones that I like want to make sure I actually read. Um, I have a lot of like Kindle first read books um, that I will pick if they sound interesting but like I do not prioritize because most of the time they're not good books. <laughs> um, so I won't waste the effort to write them down or like force myself to read them. But these are books that I like bought and would like to read. So the books that got added were The Feminist and The Sex Offender by Judith Levine and Erica R. Miners. Uh, this got mentioned in a podcast. Uh, what podcast was it? Honestly, I can't remember what podcast it was. Uh, but I do know that it was Olivia Gatwood who wrote Life of the Party, which was a poetry book I listened to in January, apparently. <laughs> um, she had mentioned it in whatever podcast I listened to. Um, and it sounded really intriguing. So um, it's kind of like a book about prison and abolition, but also like a feminist perspective on sex offenders. Um, so I was intrigued. Um, so I got that. I, I also picked up The Disappearance of Joseph Mangala by Olivier Guez. Guez? <laughs> um, this is a novelization of fictional story grappling with Joseph Mengele's disappearance into um, Brazil, Argentina, somewhere in South America. I can't remember the specifics. Um, so it is a fiction book, but it is like about that in some way. I'm not 100% sure, but it sounded intriguing. And after reading Women Talking, and even though I didn't like it, it had me a little more intrigued to read like these fictional grapplings with uh, major historic events, I guess. So I picked it up. And then the other one I got was Abolition Geography by Ruth Wilson Gilmore. This is again about like prison abolition, but like from a geographic perspective. It's a bunch of essays. Um, so I guess I should say like edited by Ruth Wilson Gilmore, um, but intrigues me as someone with a geography degree and an interest in prison abolition. So those are those stats. Um, if I look at my ratings for the month, uh, no one star reads. Great. Love that for me. Only one two star read. Also great for me, even though like I didn't enjoy that book. Great that it was only one book this month. Um, so pretty low negative ratings this month. So good. Uh, five, three stars, eight, four stars. That's wild amount of four star reads. And then one five star. Uh, and that puts my rating at 3.6 for the month. And that is the highest rating so far this year. Um, absolutely agree. Like I had a really good reading month. Um, I guess I can thank R.F. Kuang for that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised at how much I actually still managed to read this month because when I was reading those giant R.F. Kuang books, um, like that was all I could read at that time. Um, like I, I just could not read anything else while I was reading R.F. Kuang's um, The Poppy War books. Um, so the fact that I still managed to finish so many books, excellent. My average reading time I think was like about a week. Um, yeah, this is one of my longer average. It took me about 7.2 days to read a book. Um, and I know that like is definitely because the Poppy War books took a while. Um, so I think those are the main stats I need to talk about. Um, what else do I usually talk about in these? So my favorite book this month 
was obviously Catch and Kill, Lies, Spies, and a Conspiracy to Protect Predators. This was written by Ronan Farrow. It is about uh, the Harvey Weinstein um, sexual assaults, uh, but also like the way it was kept under wraps, um, how NBC was trying to keep him from reporting it, uh, how Harvey Weinstein was putting pressure on NBC to like squash the story, uh, but also like connections to other powerful men. Um, so there's talks about Trump and like Stormy Daniels. Uh, it touches on the Matt Lauer stuff because he was at NBC. Um, there was just a lot of interesting connections and I get a little more in depth about my thoughts and how interesting I thought it was in the April, the final April vlog, which will be out in two weeks, I think. Um, so that was my favorite. Um, and then my least favorite was Women Talking by Miriam Taves. Um, this was in my week three vlog and <laughs> That one should be coming out. And it'll either come out this week or next week. Um, I'm still considering whether or not I'm going to double post this week. Um, but <sighs> Women Talking is a grappling with a, it's a fictional grappling with a case that happened in Bolivia where Mennonite women were being drugged by Mennonite men in their community and they were being raped uh, in their drugged sleep. Um, and it, they were being gaslit by the men in their community uh, for years and years and years. And so the book takes place like after these men have been accused and are like, they're in jail but haven't been prosecuted. And the women are deciding whether or not they want to leave the community or if they want to stay and fight um, because they don't feel safe in the community. Uh, so the book is really just these women talking. It had a lot of potential. There was definitely bits and pieces that I enjoyed, but the reason why it was my least favorite read this month was like all the writing choices. I just, I couldn't understand and I hated, um, the way the dialogue didn't have quotes around it. Just the way the dialogue was written in general, I did not like, and like the whole book is like dialogue. Um, the fact that it is told from a, man, a man's perspective, even though there's like a reason for it within the text, I did not like the choice at all that the story about these women and the choices they were making was being told through a man's perspective. So yeah, those are my least favorite and most favorite book this month. Um, let's talk about TBR a little bit. The only book I am carrying over is Biography of X. Uh, this is the only book I am currently reading at this very second because I have finished two books today. Um, it's a little slow and dry at this point. Um, I think I'm going to really need it to pick up the pace in the next chapter or I'm going to DNF it. Um, the, the <laughs> it is packed with so much intriguing information on the back for the like plot description. Um, but so far it's just been CM talking about like why X is so important to her, how they met, um, CM's relationship with her husband before she met X, um, and kind of like taking the task the person who had written X's biography previously, like before X had died someone had written a biography about her with like a bunch of lies and stuff and so it seems like it's also going to be kind of debunking stuff in that biography within this biography but it's pretty dry I'm not like in love with it yet um yeah there are a couple other things I am planning on reading this month one I am going to at least attempt to read The Roundhouse by Louise Elbridge, I think is her name. Where did my phone go? I don't know. Um, as my indigenous read for this month. Um, but also it is my quarter two buddy read with my BFF. So um, she's already started it, but I read quicker than she does. So um, I'm going to start tomorrow. Um, 
so I can't even remember remember what that is I think it's like a kind of police procedural story I don't know I can't remember I just know we're gonna read it together um some other things I think I'm gonna try and read Sula this month because I have yet to touch any Toni Morrison so far this year and that was kind of one of my goals um and the reason I have decided to read this is because it got mentioned in On Earth We Are Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. He was reading it in the last part of the book. Um, well, not Ocean Vuong, but the character was reading it. <laughs> uh, and I was like, I have that on my shelf. I'm going to read that. So um, yeah, I'm going to read this hopefully this month. Um, don't even know what it's about, which is how I go into all of these books. Um, all of the Toni Morrison books, that is. Uh, two girls who grow up to become women, two friends who become something worse than enemies. In this brilliantly imaginative novel, Toni Morrison tells the story of Nell Wright and Sula Peace, who meet as children in the small town of Medallion, Ohio. Their devotion is fierce enough to withstand bullies and the burden of a dreadful secret it endures even after Nell has grown up to be a pillar of the black community and Sula has become a pariah, but their friendship ends in an unfortunate betrayal. Or does it? Terrifying, comic, ribald, and tragic. Sula is a work that overflows with life. Damn, that sounds good. <laughs> um, that sounds excellent. I can't wait. And then the other thing I think I might read is The Geography of Nowhere. Uh, the Rise and Decline of America's Man-Made Landscape. I picked this up randomly at the uh, Friends of the Library sale, not this most recent one, but the one before that, um, and it's been sitting on my shelf for a while. Um, and then I kept seeing it pop up places. I saw it at the, like, thrift bookstore that's, like, uh, it's a store where they, like, sell, like, the overstock, basically. Um, so I saw it there, and then... I saw it somewhere like mentioned it as like an important read like someone had I think it might have been schizophrenic reads on Instagram he reads a bunch of like uh nonfiction. And I feel like maybe he mentioned it but maybe not it could have been someone else um anyways so it had me intrigued because I have it on my shelf and um all of a sudden I'm seeing it places so I think I'm gonna read this this month and I just remembered my slack group is doing a book club and this month's read is Jesus and John Wayne. Uh, so I will definitely listen to that this month because that's been on my TBR for a while. Anyways, so yeah, this is actually quite a long wrap up because I really just like rambled and stuff. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I will see y'all either later this week or next week with the April 3rd reading vlog or not April 3rd, but third week of April <laughs> reading vlog. Um, and yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.